A Portland teenager is launching a project to help send feminine products to conflict areas in the Congo. Elise Haas shows us what's unique about the team behind this philanthropic effort. Most 16 year old boys are prioritizing learning how to drive, <laughs> busy with sports, or their social life. But Asukalu Sangalo. After learning about all the horrific tragedies that the Congolese people suffer every day, I've decided to make a change. Well, he's starting a movement. We believe that all people should have the right to menstrual hygiene and educational opportunity. Now as a junior at Central Catholic High School in Portland, he's trying to fight for women's health and education in his homeland of Africa. His parents are refugees of war from the Democratic Republic of Congo. After immigrating to the United States, he's trying to prevent the cause that prompted his family to have to flee. That's why he's created the Congo Peace Project. And so what that looks like is providing pads and tampons to hospitals and then providing notebooks, scissors, and pencils to schools because a lot of schools there are under-resourced. As a grassroots organization, his project is working to get basic resources to the most vulnerable people in the Congo. A lot of girls specifically miss school. Um, in general, people f use unsanitary ways to address their period, and so these can lead to further health issues down the line and also a lack of hygiene. So that's really where the basic right comes in and us trying to realize that basic right for people. His organization runs off donations. No matter how big or small, he says your contribution will help bring peace to his people. In Portland, Elise Haas, Coin6 News.